So welcome to another lovely video on the Micra and on today's video we're going to start modifying the intercooler. <laughs> Hello, so I'm currently editing this video and I can't find the piece of footage which slots in in between these two clips so here it is. Um, so we're basically going to fabricate two separate end tanks on the intercooler. So, so we're going to split the intercooler roughly 70-30%. Um, the bottom 30% is going to be dedicated for the supercharger. The upper 70% is going to be dedicated for the turbocharger. So we're going to fabricate two separate end tanks. So the, the end tanks are going to look a bit weird, but it all makes sense once I'm done with it. So um, yeah, back onto the video. Right, so we've got to the point where we've got the end tank to hold it on. Now, I hope this makes it a bit more clear of what we're trying to do. So we've got this little end tank at the bottom here, which is going to be for the supercharger. So the supercharger will get that portion of the intercooler. And then the turbocharger, which will be doing most of the work, so we might as well give it most of the cooler, has its own little separate end tank. Now, obviously, supercharger will flow through there, turbocharger will flow through there, so hopefully, if they're both up ending running together over the crossover period they won't interrupt each other's flow and then it'll obviously come out of this side um there's not really a chance it's going to sort of back surge in there so we're not really too worried about that so uh next step is we're going to get all this welded up because we then need to go machine the flange for the bypass valve so I might as well get this welded up so while that's cooling we can get the flange machined and I hope by the time it's all cooled off we can come back and then weld the flange on the top. So uh, yeah, let's get this welded up. So we are not having a good day today. Uh, another piece of footage that again I remember recording yesterday isn't there. So our next job is we're going to start to machine the the bypass valve flange, which will go on top of that inter of the end tank that we've just welded. So I'm going to show you um, a quick time lapse of me designing um, the flange in Fusion 360 and then machining it. Um, that's it really. Back on with the video.
and there we have the bypass flange of the CNC now it's not perfect cosmetically but I'm not too bothered about that it's going to function as intended we've just tapped out the holes to M6 so all it remains to do now is weld this onto the top of this end tank and that should be this intercooler all sorted um, I've also put in a little o-ring groove there unfortunately i've only got the smallest end mill i've got is a four mil so i've had to go with quite a chunky four mil o-ring but it should work out spotty dog and um, so yeah without further ado let's get this buzzed on to the intercooler So that's come out as I expected. So we've got a lovely bypass valve on there. We've got our flange machined up that we did on the little CNC here. The CNC is an absolute godsend because we can design all the flat patterns and we can cut them out, out of some sheet and out of some alloy stock. We've got a bit of clearance there for the servo, which is nice, probably a bit too much, but I wanted to make sure we had at least about eight mil of threads in there for the bolts to go into. Um, so yeah, really happy about it's come out. Um, I also welded on a little barb, little beaded section just there for the supercharger. Now, now the last thing to tackle is the cold side of the intercooler. And I really wanted to use a two inch cast elbow, similar to these, but two and a half inch. Unfortunately, I thought it had one. I haven't got one in stock, um, but that would have done that job there just perfect. Um, I've had a quick look at some suppliers and it appears no one's got one in stock. So rather than wait a couple of weeks to get one from somewhere abroad, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna use this just traditional two and a half inch intercooler bend. I'm gonna sort of chop into the leg here um, and just we'll use this basically. Um, I've got no option, I need to get this done. So uh, yeah, last task and then this job's done. So let's get this marked up and let's get it welded on. Now we've got the intercooler cut, we've got our elbow cut. Now we just kind of need to think ahead here for when we do the cold side boost pipe. So before I weld this on, I need to make sure it's cut to the right length and then we'll bead roll it. So this is the this is a two and a half inch 90 degree silicon joiner that we're gonna use to point the airflow up. Uh, and we are a bit tight here, saying that we could cut that silicon joiner down, so it's actually probably not a problem. So we we'll sort of just lean that there, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it about where my finger is here. We'll bead roll it and get it tacked onto the intercooler. We'll come and just do one sort of final fitment check before we weld this fully onto the intercooler. So uh, yeah, let's get this marked up, let's get it cut, let's get it mocked up, let's get it welded. <laughs> There we go, we've got it tapped on. Got a decent amount of clearance there. I might just need to trim a bit more of this panel out, I believe, just so we've got a bit of wiggle room. Um, but other than that, I think by the time we've trimmed that silicon joiner down an inch, we're gonna clear this engine mounting. So put it about there, and that'll put us on route to get into the throttle body. we go we've got it all welded on we've got uh, plenty of clearance down there now enough room to get our silicon on with a hose clamp just need to obviously trim that down i know i've mentioned that about three times now now we're not going to do any of the 
hot side or cold side intercooler pipe work in this video that's going to be a whole different video in its own because we're going to need quite a bit of work to do in that such as obviously fabricate a machine the outlet for the supercharger and um, obviously we need to sort out this um, thing with the turbo to bypass with a takeoff for the supercharger inlet and then the cold side is a very simple job to do and so thanks for watching another fabrication video starring yours truly um i hope you understand what we've done and why we're doing it if you don't pop a comment down below i'll answer it um so yeah um i'm gonna leave us this video here so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video very shortly